Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this team. And I think right off the bat, we um, started, you know, teams are practicing a lot of sets together. So I think training wise, we um, started to get really close as a team. And I think, um, yeah, this was the first, the, uh, today, uh, you know, it was hard to get up and go knowing we raced last week. And I think we did a great job of um, just really muscling through everything. And I'm just really proud of this de- team. We won so many events today. And I think that was really special just watching everyone light it up. The jackpot is really interesting. I think when I when we were back at home, uh, bef- and when the match had started, watching match number one, I was like, what is this? This is very interesting. Um, and then, you know, you it's really like you don't really understand it until you're like participating in the match and watching your teammates like, you know, watching a dominant swim. And I, I'm not sure. I think I jackpotted in one of the races. And I don't know, like, I, I've heard from some family and friends back home that are like, these things are making it way more exciting to watch. Um, but it does stink when like someone still had a pretty good time and then they just like get jackpotted. So I think I'm a fan of, um, switching things up and making things more exciting. Um, and I think that, yeah, I'm, I'm, on the fence about about it because I'm sure I wouldn't love to be jackpotted um but yeah I think it's an interesting concept and I'm excited to see how it factors in the rest of the matches when I was 15 that was kind of around the time when I started taking swimming and racing very seriously I think um I didn't start doing doubles until I got to high school And, um, so I had kind of knew that I was pretty talented when I was 14. Um, but you know, 15 is kind of the age where I really had to buckle down and decided that hard work was what was going to get me to where I wanted to be. So I think my advice for a 15 year old, um, knowing all that would be to make, have a really communicative relationship with your coach, um, and make very clear, ambitious goals, but also to have um, start making a plan to achieve them um, instead of just, you know, making these big dreams and goals, start um, slowly chipping away at them and making a plan on how you're going to do it.